a binary star system, a blue supergiant and its hungry companion, a black hole. Relentlessly, a plume of gas is drawn from the hapless giant. The black hole is an object so collapsed that nothing escapes its voracious gravity, not even light. As material from the companion swirls inward on the accretion disk, as the event horizon is crossed, everything is trapped. Extremely massive stars are thought to generate black holes. In old age, as hydrogen runs out, the nuclear furnace at the core fuses heavier and heavier elements. In the end, with nothing left to fuse, the core becomes solid iron and it collapses. The result is a catastrophic supernova, blasting the outer layers far and wide and compressing the core still farther. Crucially, the collapse only becomes a stellar mass black hole if the original iron core had more than three times the mass of our Sun. Detecting a black hole is difficult because it's invisible and just a few kilometers across. The chances increase if the black hole is in a close binary system. Then, jets can be seen blasting at right angles from the swirl around the hole. For as it spirals inward, some material is saved at the brink, pitched into space by the shockwave around the central vortex. The motion of an orbiting companion allows us to weigh a black hole. Most have ten times the mass of the Sun. At the heart of our galaxy is believed to lurk a massive black hole. It could be the case with most galaxies. But our galactic center is obscured by star clouds and dark nebulae, so there are no visual clues. X-rays, however, reveal hundreds of white dwarfs, neutron stars and stellar mass black holes. Closer and two vast lobes suggest a massive black hole dead center. It may look like this, incandescent flares jetting dozens of light years as matter falls on the accretion disk. Astronomers believe the suspected black hole at our galactic center may have the mass of three million suns. Andromeda, our nearest major galaxy, probably also has a black hole at its hub. But Andromeda's could have 70 million times the mass of our sun, and be two. A bright spot, a clue to the hole, is detected by telescope. Tighter still, and there are two, did Andromeda swallow a smaller galaxy? Five times more distant, the strange galaxy, Centaurus A. It's crossed by a lane of dark dust. Astronomers think the cause was a gigantic collision, a dusty spiral galaxy scything into the original spherical galaxy. With visible light, there's no hint of a black hole, but radio shows vast lobes extending from the center. Add X-ray and there's more structure. Look at the narrow blue jet, a spout of material heated to millions of degrees, shooting from a massive black hole. Animation shows what's happening. The jet is lucky matter hurled from the brink. The rest, the bright accretion disk, is doomed matter spinning towards oblivion. That pivotal black hole of Centaurus A is thought to have a mass of some 200 million suns. The heart of this nearby galaxy, NGC 4945, also has a black hole. It has the mass of one and a half million suns. The one in galaxy M106 has 40 million times the mass of the sun. This galaxy has a supermassive black hole of one billion solar masses. There's another in the Sombrero galaxy at 700 million times the mass of the Sun. Galaxies grow by merging, and so do massive black holes at their hearts. The Antennae galaxies are examples of such a cosmic combination. At the center, the merger has sparked a great firestorm of starbirth. The maelstrom is revealed in X-ray. Exploding stars, neutron stars, searing gas, evidence of black holes. 
animation of another galactic collision, galaxies known as the mice because of their tails. Here they are by telescope. In simulation again, the mice are prime candidates for a binary black hole. As galaxies collide, their black holes fall quickly towards the hub of the merged galaxy. But instead of merging themselves, they orbit each other for hundreds of millions of years. When they do combine, they form a supermassive black hole, causing ripples in the fabric of space-time. An active galaxy usually signals a supermassive black hole. Radio reveals jets of energy expelled from the accretion disk of a supermassive in M84. By visible light, another example is Virgo A, M87. In different wavelengths, it's an intense radio source, especially the orange region. Optically obscure, a narrow jet shoots from the center. It's clear in radio, a stream of high-energy electrons, and by X-ray, accelerated pockets of scorching plasma. Animation shows the font of that energy is material in the accretion disk, spiraling into the black hole. With the mass of three billion suns, that void in M87 consumes the equivalent of several Earths every hour. So-called Seiferts are active galaxies with brilliant nuclei. This Seifert is NGC 4151. Its energy is from the disk surrounding a supermassive black hole. NGC 1316 reveals much more in radio orange-red billows, suggesting a supermassive black hole. The same goes for 3C31, with jets of radio emission, in red. The radio galaxy Perseus A. As visible light resolves into X-ray, the central white spot is the accretion disk of a supermassive black hole. From poles of the disk, jets blow cavities in the hot surrounding gas. As matter plunges to the event horizon, some shoots at right angles from the shock wave of the central vortex. Those jets create the cavities. Back now in X-ray, they're clearly visible in this image of Perseus A. A pair of galaxies, so-called radio galaxies, where supermassive black holes are the probable source of energy. Cygnus A is another. From its hub, material jets at close to the speed of light to create these lobes. Such emissions demonstrate the great engines of supermassive black holes. The most powerful black holes are at the heart of quasars. Quasars are the superluminous cores of otherwise normal galaxies. A radio map of the same quasar, over two billion light years distant. This mighty jet shoots 150,000 light years into space. Now in false color, an optical image. The quasar is known as 3C273. A supermassive black hole at the heart of a quasar. Its mass several billion times that of the sun. Its event horizon as wide as the solar system. Quasars are the brightest objects in the universe. The largest powered by black holes weighing 10 billion suns. From the Hubble Space Telescope, images of quasars. They're so bright, the host galaxies are ghosts in the glare. Black holes powering quasars have enormous appetites. They gobble the equivalent of up to 40 Earths an hour. So what are quasars? They're thought to switch on when a supermassive black hole starts gorging on gas, dust and stars. Falling inward as an accretion disk, they emit prodigious radiation. <laughs>